Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and today I'll be installing Minix 3. Minix 3 is a free and open source operating system created by Antu S. Turnable. Okay, let's go ahead and download it. So to download it, go to www.minix3.org. Once on their website, click on this download button. Click on this link where it says, I can't wait to take me to the download page right now. And the one that we're going to want to install is the stable release, which is at version 3.3.0. And select the image, which is only 228, um, 280 megabytes. We may see an error message like so, which says a file not downloaded, potential security risk. Just click on this hour and select allow download and this will just um, allow it to be downloaded. Okay. Okay, so I'll be using Photobox to be able to install um, Minix operating system. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new machine. Let's call this one Minix. OS. YouTube, well guys can give it any name we want. And now I'm gonna go ahead and state the ISO image. Other, I'll go into Jonathan Stedman, I'll go into pictures, and I'll state Minix R3.3.0, ISO image. I will select other, then I will select other unknown 64 bit. And I'll go ahead and select for the next button. I can give it as much memory as I truly want. So I give it this much memory and I can give it around maybe two cores from my uh, from my processors now click on to next give it as much storage as it really wants i'm going to give it around maybe 20 gigabytes 20 bit gigabytes should be enough for this um system now select next and select finish and now as you guys can see we're able to create this um new photo machine i will now select start and now it should beat me up two minutes that's on the enter key Now all you guys need to do is type down root and now type down setup to um, load up the install script. Welcome to Minix free setup script. This script will guide you in setting up Minix on your machine. Please consult the manual for detailed instructions. Note one, if a screen blanks, hit Ctrl F3 to select software scrolling. Note two, if things go wrong, then hit Ctrl C to abort and start over. Note 3. Default answers like Y can be can simply be chosen by hitting enter. Note 4. If we see a colon, then we should hit enter to continue. Just type down Q and that will allow it to quit out of that um out of this um text document and now we should be on the next step which is um to select your keyboard type. They have the um, many different types of keyboard layouts. They have one that is Japanese, they have one in Polish, they've got a keyboard layout in French, they've got German, they've got Italian, they've got Russian. But I want to select the UK keyboard layout, so I'm just gonna tap down UK. Um, so now we'll be able to create a new partition or you guys can use the automatic mode, which means that the computer will do the partitioning for you. So you guys don't have to um, manually do it but if you guys do want to manually do it just type down expert but i'll press on the enter key for automatic mode just to keep this video simple it's right now searching for discs okay so over here it should show by a list of discs so if i had like two discs then it would be disc zero and disc one and we have to select which disc you want to um write the OS to. I always just select zero because it has only this I got in this photo machine. Um, place select for region that we want to use for, for Minix 3 setup. If we select an in use region, it will over, be overwritten by Minix. The following region were found on the following the disk. So all you need to do now is type down zero. Um, now he's gonna give you a warning sign. Um, basically, Make sure that we do back up all of the data on the drive if we're doing this on real hardware because this will erase all of the data and it will just install Minix 3 and get rid of the operating system. So this will delete everything off your drive um, to install Minix 3. So do make sure we do back up. But um, this is a photo machine and all my data is already backed up anyways. So I'm going to type down yes and I can press on the enter key and it should allow me to um, to continue. Select the size of a home partition, just press on the enter key. Yes, that's right, fine. Four kilobytes is fine. 
Okay, so it's still installing. This may take a while. Ethernet card 9, um, which is AMD LANs, also emulated by VMware and Photobox. I'll just like 9 um, configure method. You can automatically um, configure for network. Um, so let's go ahead and select one to automatically do the networking for me. And now it says, please type reboot to exit Minix free and reboot. To boot into your new system, you might have to remove installation media. This ends the Minix free startup script. You may want to take care of the post installation steps such as local testing and configuration. Please consult the user manual for more information. So we, so this basically is just saying that um, Minix free is now installed. Now if I just type down power off, this will allow me to power off the system and I will get rid of the ISO minage. Go into settings, go to storage where we see the ISO manage. Just click on this um, on this delete button and just select remove and that will remove the ISO manage. Press on to OK. Now select start and now hopefully we're able to start quickly. Now if I select one, it should now allow me to boot up to uh, Minix. Now type down root, that's your username. And now uh, what I want to do, I'm going to want to add a password for root user. Um, this is quite important if we're doing this on raw hardware, so that way um, people won't be able to break into a system just as easily. So all you do is just write down passwd and put down root, and just enter the new passwords that we want to give to a root user. So make sure it's a really complex one, press on the enter key, retype it, and now press on the enter again, and this will allow you to set up a new password for root user. So whenever we try to log in as a root user, it will not ask you to enter the password for root user. So this is actually very good. And let me try out to exit by doing reboot. And let me see if it does actually work. One. If I now type down root, my password is going to be a longer one. Cool. So now as you guys can see, we're able to log in as root and it did ask us for a password this time. And I can also print something to the screen by doing echo. I can do something like, um, hello, guys. And I can press on the enter key and it prints out hello, guys. So anyway, guys, this was me installing Minix free. If you guys like this video, please put a like and please subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.